Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. everybody welcome to another day so um, Mike and I have decided to finally start our podcast that we've been talking about for years got a name and I designed a logo Mike bought all the equipment and we found the spot that we're gonna record in but I thought it'd be really cute since it's all about like home and family homeschooling to get for our backdrop um, a vintage quilt so I'm here at this antiques mall I'm meeting my friend Brooke here and I'm gonna I'm betting that I'll be able to find one so glad Brooke was here she helped me decide on one of the quilts so when I was going to but it, like I had these two quilts it came down to and when I was going to put back the one neither one was completely perfect and put back the one that I wasn't gonna get there was another one in that booth that I hadn't seen that was even better than both of the ones so I'm getting that and uh, headed home. Okay, so we got a package today. We have a P.O. box, but we like never check it. And we checked it today and there was a package in there. And then we remembered that Amy reached out to us and had said she wanted to send some embroideries her mom did in 1975 that her mom was like an expert seamstress and like sewed her own clothes. She sent cute pictures of her, very cute. And I opened him up, Mike was recording, and then he found out he wasn't recording. I you thought know, I like, was recording. The opposite thing where like he recorded him just before he recorded and you know, he actually stopped recording. So you missed me opening him and being like We had some great reactions over too. Over the moon so because sad. I had they're so beautiful. Amy, so beautiful. I'm so grateful. Look at these. Let's show them. Look at that guys, look at those colors. This little series all the flowers is so incredible i love them look at this this looks like it's like so just just done and then these cute little ones i can't wait to go hang them upstairs this wow. is truly one of the nicest gifts like it is if i saw these in a thrift store i would go nuts and that, so this was really nice thank you it makes me my heart feel warm really makes my day so thank you amy that's incredible really just I will cherish them and they will stay in my collection. So thank you. And it's very sweet to think of your mom doing these, especially there feels like a kinship because like, they're like exactly my style. So like she made these before I was even born and um, I really appreciate it. And so thanks Amy's mom in heaven. So sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but definitely a theme over repeated theme over the years has been like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to cook dinner again. Like. Oh, I'm always doing that. But I've tried to have a shift in my thinking for the last little while that when I start to feel that way, I think, okay, but you can see it that way. Definitely, Megan, you can see it that way. And that makes you feel terrible. Or you can see it as um, that you're creating like a cozy, happy experience for your kids to show them that you love them and for your husband, show them that you love them and um, to reinforce like joy. So... That's what I did tonight. I'm gonna make like a chicken noodle soup with homemade noodles.
Well, it's a little bit later in the evening now. It's dark outside. And we had dinner. The older boys are off at a church activity. And Mike, Megan and I went over to the warehouse and picked up some decorations. Megan, what yes. are you doing? I'm looking at the Fanny Farmer cookbook. Oh, right. Fanny Farmer cookbook. Always a good idea. Eve is singing to her music in the background. So, so what do we got here, Meg? Creepy dolls. Creepy dolls. Oh, I forgot about the lamp. It's the creepy doll collection, folks. Oh, we haven't used this yet. So, Megan has been... <laughs> this is a real lamp. I did not do anything to this lamp. Somebody wanted it this way. Megan has been going back and forth on what to do with Halloween. But we are doing the creepy dolls, right? I think so, yeah. It's okay. We already actually have a couple out. You got these at the thrift store just the other day, That's I think. That's what really said. Okay, we'll do it. She found these. So, you're going to make it happen. Where, where are you going to put gonna them? Right here. Huh? Are we going to do a whole, like, creepy doll installment here? Like an art installment? Installation or whatever they call it. Well, where should she go? Cause I, I don't think know. Maybe she can go right here. No. You need to go somewhere where it won't get knocked over by children. Well, we don't Wait, it's 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 on there. It's not level. What do you think, Jude? Is that scary? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Okay. What about this one? I'm leaving her in the bag with all of her. Like broken hair at the bottom. Let's look at her face up close. <laughs> Megan, how long have you been working on your creepy doll, um, you know, collection? Three or four years. Man, she's great. I love her. Okay, what I did think about is making this whole thing doll. Oh, do it in here. Yes. It's then you have to empty all this stuff out. No, I won't empty it all out. I'll just kind of like empty a few things out. This is another favorite. Let's see it. Hold it up. <laughs> That's how you got it. I don't understand. It just falls back out. It's not actually broken though. It, that looks like an electric cord or something. No, it's just like a... A bungee? Bungee cord. But it's just all stretched out. Okay. So she just... I just need... I need like a stand for her, you know? To be like this. Yeah, but I don't have... We'll see what I have. We need some more doll stands. That's the issue here. It's never... This one's really creepy for you. Oh, that's a sleeping. Yeah, dolls. They just, they just have a way. We keep on hearing. We're hearing some music come from this box. It's kind of weird. You know, it's funny. I started this creepy doll collection, but along the way, I've actually kind of started to love dolls. <laughs> now you're gonna be a doll lady too. I love too. this doll. I think it's beautiful. Now. I don't know who made this doll, but I think it's beautiful. Remember, you got you got a doll a while back, then you sold. I got a doll for the creepy doll collection that I ended up selling for eight hundred dollars. Yikes! Because it was like a work of art, handmade doll. Okay, so we've got this girl here. She's pretty good. Little scary. Oh uh, wait, I like this one. She has no eyes. I like this one. The dead stare. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's how it came? Well, her head Here. wasn't attached and it's Hold just that like, up again. It wait, just like deteriorated. Let me see. What just happened? Which doll has music coming out of it? It is scary. There's some, one of these dolls has wait, like a I little bit it. of music. Shh, shh. Everyone be quiet. Eve, stop saying I like this one. Oh. oh. Doll. She was one of my first because she's kind of Halloween outfit. She's not really that creepy. Thing is, like some people think all dolls are creepy, but I like I don't think she's that creepy. It's just that she has no hair that makes her kind of creepy. That's well, when a doll looks kind of beat up. Mm -hmm. Really, what is that? One of these dolls has, has some music coming out of it. It's this... freaking me out. None. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they have like the eyes. 
A lot of the kids think she's the scariest. She is, because she also is kind of gesturing in this spooky way. Grandpa. This is just an old man. Oh, I thought that was grandma. I think it's a man. Really? It did it again. It's this one. <laughs> I think it's one of these. No, none of these make noise. Isn't that creepy that we think? Is it her? Oh, look. Mike. <gasps> I knew it. Oh, I want to find the skeleton. Oh, yeah, she moves her head, doesn't she? It's like a really slow. Needs. Can you twist anymore? Give it a little bit more. Oomph. Oomph, yeah. Don't break it. No. It's now it's just gonna go forever, just like one note at a time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't shake it. We'll just have to listen to that this for a while. Is, I have two beautiful Madame Alexander dolls. Beautiful. The bride doll and a ballerina doll. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she, she is. She's pretty. not that creepy, really. I know. These are some of the first I got, too. But they were so pretty, I just couldn't say no to them. Yeah. Um, this is one of those ugly dolls. That's <laughs> 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 so funny. I think she's just kind of deranged looking. Yeah, is she? This one is the size of the legs. What? Yeah. <laughs> that gives some kind of condition. Why does that look so that, that looks legs? homemade. <laughs> I love this dog. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that. This one is like one of those really, really, really expensive kind, you know? What do you mean? That looks really what? real. It's like hand painted and stuff. Uh huh. But its hair is like ruined. And she sits pretty great. Like she'll just like sit with her arms up. In a spot. <laughs> she's great. She has a look on her face. Go <laughs> so Is she like moving her head? And her hand. <laughs> Whatever sound she used to make. She just makes like a Terminator sound now. Yeah. Oh, her, she's past and her then prime. And last one. Yeah. It's just this little monkey. That's a monkey? Used to be. He's not that creepy. No. You said you want to play with her? No. Oh. Okay, so they're fun. There's the collection. Got to figure out where to put them. We're going to put them in Jude's bed. Right? All right, let's see the final product. We've got our few up here on the top, just hanging out. Look at the way the elf is looking at that little baby. Oh, you're right. That elf has plans. Okay, and then here. This one is the best. Man. This. She has kind of a mischievous look on her face, too. Mm -hmm. She's like, come in, it's fine in here. Okay. Welcome, children. I'm getting my voices. That'll be spooky when you come yeah. down here, huh? She's pretty good, too. Okay, and then Megan did one more. Who's looking over all of us. You guys want to see? Okay, it's like I said, when I started collecting these, then I started finding dolls that I actually thought were pretty. I found yes. that one that was worth the time. But what are we going to look at? My little doll collection. Wait, we're now we're just going to show the regular doll collection? Yeah, I'll bring them to the couch in the front room. Okay, show us what you got. We're what all excited. What I started with is, or what, it, I think I'm missing some in here. But I like folk dolls. So like her, 
She's made by Imogene Midkiff. Oh, right. I knew that. She's a little painted fabric doll. I bought this lady. I think she's a little Afghani doll. Mm. She's even got like her little ball of yarn and she's knitting something. Do you guys see that? Isn't she cute? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is cute. She's got little knitted shoes. Um, he doesn't have his belt on and he's missing a shoe, unfortunately. But he's a cute little Asian guy. You guys have probably seen these ladies before. I do not know what they are. They look like little puppets to me. Definitely look European. Oh, we looked them up, didn't we? No, I don't think we ever found them. Oh, she's I'm thinking like a, of the wooden ones in there. She's got a silk scarf with like a little pattern on it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's a he. He's got a little, I don't know, ukulele guitar. Actual real fur boats. I love this. Look at her little, oh. Uh-oh, losing her my head. Look at her little headdress. And her hat. No, whose head is this? Oh, that's somebody's Whose head, head is this? She's got both boots. Like this is real suede. Boots and vest. The real deal. And these cute pants. You see him? How cool is he? You figured out where these ones are from. This is Uncle Pin. This is a whole set. Mm -hmm. And this is Aunt Jenny. And carved this, out of wood. This is an artist's... Uh... Yeah. Man, I can't remember And the then name. Um, Uncle Pin has, is supposed to have an axe, I think. No, no, you're supposed to have a saw. So we have the wood still, and it, a little saw would have sat in there. And then Aunt Jenny has her little um, butter, butter churn. churn. I love those little folk art dolls. Those remind me of... Um, I'm missing some of my dolls. What is it? Yeah. To Kill a Mockingbird, you know? The yeah, ones totally. they put in the tree? Oh, goodness me. Uh-oh. Did that spook you? Was that scary? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be careful. You just punch That's Asher. the really horrifying thing. <laughs> Did she get you where it counts? I just pulled her out. She was in the scary doll collection, but look at her little wooden hand painted boots and her little probably hand sewn with even little buttons and her little hand painted buttons. face. Buttons. So I'm missing buttons. some, but I just love the little folk artsy dolls. And they're worth, you know, money. You know, money. <laughs> I think they're worth like Bucks. The green stuff. I think we've reached the end of the day. Is that and right, Megan? The end of our rope. Yep, you know how it goes if your parents. The end of the day. Uh, not our end of our rope for realsies. We're not really the end of our rope, but you know, end of the day, you're kind of ready to be done. So, ten fifteen. Um, so you got all your dolls up. Is there anything we need to wrap up from the day, Megan, that you uh, talked about? You know, show? I never showed them the quilt on the wall, and that might make you feel empty. I Should told show you them I that? found it. And I never showed you it. So you were talking about I wasn't there. So you you showed them you got it and why we're getting it. Yeah, but I never showed them. Okay, maybe we should, should we go up and look at it real quick. Yeah. Okay, we're on our way up to show the quilt and then remember that Megan did hang these up. They look so the fun good. Fun embroideries. They look so beautiful. I moved some things Let's around. Let's see. You kind of. There's a little cute cottage one that was reminiscent of that one. And then here are these two, the flower cart and the chair with the kitty. Yeah. But really this one, these two, just like, I just want to look at them. <laughs> you did sit here looking at them for like 20 minutes before. I sat in the chair and looked at them. There it is on the wall. So this is where our couch usually sits at the foot of our bed and we'll move it over here and pull over this table. So basically, when it's when we're actually recording it, the idea is that all we're gonna see is the couch and the. Did you test this out to see if it actually works? Yeah, of course it works. It's bigger than it needed to be. Isn't that homey? It's so cute. It is nice. It's a nice backdrop. All right, so missions accomplished today. Multiple missions, and that's it. So stay tuned. We 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 saw a lot of your guesses for the name of the podcast, and some of you. Got it right. Ding, 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 ding. But we're not going to say... When are we going to say? I don't know. <laughs> How about when we make... Are we going to make t-shirts before our first podcast? I don't think so. Hmm. We have a lot to do. We I don't think we're going to have... We're going to make some merchandise related to it. I meant for us to wear. 
I know, but even that. Well, okay, you're talking about making them uh, using the cricket, so we can. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought I meant ordering them and having them. Well, like, if to we us. do, then we'll tell you our name then. If we don't, we'll tell you our name then too. Thanks for coming along. If you hear music in the background, it's because one boys. of the boys are showering and they love Blast. to have classical music I mean... while they're showering. <laughs> All right, so we'll, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, no, go to norpensouth.com, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.